everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you about some of my favorite products that I have discovered and have used really regularly this summer. At the beginning of this year, I kind of stopped doing monthly favorites because I didn't feel like I was falling in love with things fast enough to consider them favorites every month and I didn't want to just be grabbing things and making videos for you saying oh yeah they're my favorites um, when I didn't really like love them. So I figure seasonal favorites are a little bit more doable and more realistic even though I kind of forgot about spring. So some of these products I bought myself with my own money, some of them were sent to me so uh, all opinions are totally my own, not sponsored, not getting paid money to talk about any of these brands in this video so I just want to get that out of the way. So my first favorite that I instantly fell in love with straight out of the box were the new ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. The release of these was crazy. I mean, the site was crashing. Nobody could add anything to their cart. I think I had tried when they first released them. I just couldn't get anywhere. I waited about like five hours and I was still only able to get three things in my cart and then I was just like, screw it. I'm going to come out on top or stop while I'm ahead. And so I walked away with three colors. Um, they are going to be releasing, re-releasing the first week of August and I have swatches of the shades that I have on my blog which I will leave the link below but I have the colors trap which is this really pretty grayish with a kind of like a purpley undertone very cute um, Bumble, which is like a dusty terracotta, and then Donut, which is a beautiful bright pink for, or kind of peachy pink. I love these not only for their incredible pigmentation because I swear what you see is what you get straight onto the lips, but they also have the most long wearing formula that I've ever tried out of any liquid lipstick. Even through a meal, I don't feel like I need to touch up. They lasted about eight hours on me when I was doing a test, and that was through one meal and a lot of glasses of water, just constantly sipping on something because it's summer, it's hot, I wanted to stay hydrated, and these held up beautifully. All right, the next product really had to grow on me because uh, the gimmick or like why this mascara really was special, it didn't really work for me, but I found uh, that the formula was still really, really cool. So this is the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. It is a mascara. Now, what this mascara was supposed to do or what was supposed to set it apart was that the tip of the uh, brush was supposed to rotate. So that was in turn, I guess, supposed to get rid of clumps because it would, you know, rotate through your lashes. Um, but I never really found that working for me. I really never rotated for me. But either way, I actually really like this formula. It is super waterproof and it holds a curl like no other. Um, so with these crazy hot weather days, and especially it was raining last weekend, which was so bizarre, um, but waterproof has been really important in my makeup routine this season. And this has been a really good waterproof formula from the drugstore that actually holds up through sweat and tears and water and rain. So uh, I appreciate that at least. So that's why I've been reaching for this. Um, when one, I know that I'm gonna have a long day or two, I know I'm gonna have a hot day. And even though the, the and even though the brush doesn't rotate for me or whatever it was supposed to do, um, I find that the bristles are still um, placed really nicely to get a good even application on the lashes. Next we have a brush that I've been actually using pretty exclusively for my foundation this summer, at least my liquid foundations and BB creams and whatnot, and that's the EcoTools Stippling Brush. I'm a big fan of stippling on my foundation, which you probably know from my makeup tutorials, because I use liquid um, products and I just find that it keeps the finish looking really nice natural and it also lends to using less product and getting a more even application. Now what I really love about this versus my e.l.f. stippling brush which used to be like my number one favorite um, which I still use because it's still a great brush the difference is is that you can see like on the e.l.f. one the longest bristles are a good quarter of an inch away from the rest of the dense um, brush head. So they are a lot more flexible, uh, which is good for some things that you want to do. But with this Eagle Tools brush, what I find super interesting is that it's just a little bit more stiff and it seems like it's just packed a little bit tighter. Also, the tips of the longest bristles 
aren't that far away from the fluffiness of the rest of the brush head. Now what all of these qualities end up playing a part in is after I'm stippling on my foundation like so, I can actually go back and buff in certain areas or my whole face and it's not going to look streaky because it is a denser brush and it is a little bit more fluffy and stiff. So I just really liked that when I use this I'm like I could totally get used to this and I find that it's a little bit easier and quicker to get my face makeup done because of that because it's like stippling and buffing all in one. Next thing, this is a little bit more on the higher price end compared to the things that I normally talk about on my channel, but I do think it's worth it because of the amount you're getting and what it does. So this is the Scandinavia The Makeup Primer Spray. So this is a sprayable makeup primer that I find is so nice for a light application during summer that actually still does something. The mist is super fine and you do get like a good range of the spray covering the entire face. I just find that this gives you a really light and even application that's great for layering makeup on top of without feeling like you've got a ton of stuff on your face. You only need a couple spritzes to get your whole face. This is a good four fluid ounce bottle. It's gonna last you a while. So even though it is a little bit on the pricier side, I think that this will really, really uh, last you a long time. My next favorite is super utilitarian, but I've just got to mention it, and it is the new Carmex Moisture Plus Lip Balms that are actually like in the tube. So Carmex has always been one of my very favorite uh, lip balms or lip moisturizers, but one, I hate those pots. Like I hate having to put my finger into something and then put it on my lips and then just like the germs and whatnot. So I never ended up using those types of Carmex things, which is like the original um, packaging. And then they came out with the squeeze tubes that you would, you know, put on your lips. But even that like felt messy to me. So when they came out with actual lip balms that have their same moisturizing formula but in normal lip balm like fashion, I was head over heels. I was like, thank goodness. Uh, yes. And it still has that like menthol-y smell, you know? I love it. What I think is really cute about these two is that they come in all sorts of cute designs. So this one has like um, little flowers on it and whatnot. And I think I had another one that has checkers or a plaid design. So these are always really cute to throw in the bag and just kind of add a little bit of fun. Next thing you probably saw in my strobing video if you watched that. And this is the City Color Spotlight Highlight. I love this cream highlight. Um, you can see it in action in that video. I will also link that below or somewhere in the video, but what I really like about this is that it's not sparkly, it's not glittery, it actually gives you a beautiful light up sheen on your face that is a little bit more natural, but when you build it up to that intensity, you get that really nice strobe effect. It has a great texture too, it's very silky, very soft, easy to blend out. Um, I often use either my fingers or the beauty blenders that I also showed in the strobing video, but I've been using this literally every single day. Before I get to my last video, Favorite, I want to show you something that I've really really been loving in my bathroom and it's this clear organizer from Soho which also makes brushes and makeup bags for the drugstore but they also have these clear organizers which are so awesome for clearing up space in your bathroom or your countertop it's so crazy how much you know stuff I can fit in there and it just looks so much better when it's contained as opposed to just sitting on my countertop so this has definitely been a favorite since I've moved into my new apartment Lastly, I've been getting so many compliments on my brows lately and I'm like, finally, because I went through so many freaking crazy brow transitions and I finally feel like I have a routine down that makes them fit my face and not look so crazy and I've been using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark. It comes with a dark brown gel and then a setting powder, but I actually um, map out my brows with the setting powder first and then set everything with the gel. So I kind of work backwards. I feel like it fills them in, it makes them look a little bit more natural and shapely and just on fleek. So those are all my summer favorites, volume one, because summer is definitely not over yet. I personally start school in like three weeks, I think, but it is bittersweet because it is also my last semester of college. It's my last semester of school, ever. Oh my God, that is so cool. Anyway, let me know what you've been loving this summer. Tell me things I should check out in the comments below. I'm hoping to do another Summer Favorites Volume 2, maybe by the end of August, when I'm back in school. 
All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up if you want to see another favorites video. And don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. It's water resistant. First thing it says, that is amazing. I don't have any water resistant brow products right now. And by the end of the day, my brows are like.